Hey there, and welcome back to Cosmic Crypto. In this video, we're going to be talking about Jasmine. Let's go. Okay, welcome back to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Go down below, hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, if you can tap the like button, I'd really appreciate it. It is the best way to support the channel. All right. Uh... On the weekly time frame for Jasmine, going to do a quick update uh, for anybody who's just new here. Uh, Jasmine was in a falling wedge for a long time, had a breakout, hit the 382 retracement level, as you can see here, uh, came down, tried it again, but had a lower high and not as much momentum to the upside, and so it crashed down and burned. But what it did do is it came down and found perfect support at a 786 retracement and I got that 786 I'm going to delete that by taking a Fibonacci from the very bottom over here to the top and uh, you can see that Jasmine came down to the 786 retracement held that and then has now been pushing back to the upside uh, so where are we at here so a couple things I'm noticing uh, weekly time frame looks like we could be getting a green dot here and what I like about this is the price fell down quite a bit, but the wave here for the trend directional uh, is actually a lot smaller. So, I mean, you had a large movement to the downside, but the wave was tiny, which is telling me that the momentum to the downside was fairly weak, even though the price went down uh, pretty far. Because uh, you can see these waves over here are a lot larger. And so it looks like we're getting a green dot possibly in the next week or so. Another thing that I've noticed is we are starting to flip the RSI to a new level of support. And you can see that right here, that we'd been stuck underneath this level uh, on the RSI for quite a while, had the breakout, and now we've retested that RSI level as support, which is around that 37, 36 uh, area on the RSI, and continue on, continuing on to the upside. What I would really like to see, for Jasmine to really make any kind of big move here, uh, we really need this RSI to get above the 50 level. We are on the weekly time frame. We are just stuck. Uh, you know, right now we're hovering around the 42, 43 area, uh, but we do need to get above that 50 level for any kind of bullet, real bullish movements to happen here. Uh, we are hitting resistance currently on the weekly time frame. Basically, on every time frame, you can see that we came down. We found support right here, uh, formed an M pattern, and then broke through it. Uh, and now we are coming back up, and we are hitting that M the center of the M pattern here uh, as resistance. And if we zoom in to the four hour time frame, with some short term concerns that I am seeing here, you can see we are creating higher lows, higher high, higher low, higher high. Uh, but you can see on the RSI and the trend directional, we are creating lower highs on the price, and, or I'm sorry, on the uh, RSI and the trend directional here, which is creating a bearish divergence. Uh, we are having a very nice, move to the upside uh, trend line here. Uh, if we do break below this trend line, I am expecting a retracement to happen. And uh, this is kind of like a bit of a channel that we're in right now. So if you take your channel tool, move it up, and you can see that we are, so we came up and hit the high right here on the top of the channel here, fell below it, hit the top of the channel here, fell below it, but then this last move, so we are losing momentum is, is what I'm getting at here. So we were able to reach the top of the channel, reach the top of the channel, and then we had a higher high, but you can see that not only was, did we not reach the top of the channel, but if we zoom in even closer, you can see, and actually, let me get rid of that. Uh, so you can see that when we got up here, we have a lot higher wicks right here, and we were only to get we were only able to get halfway up this channel. When as, as of over here, we had a low wick and a lot of body candle here, uh, and so it, we are losing momentum, and that just lines up perfectly with the bearish divergence. Um, it does look like there is a chance to break down here uh, for Jasmine in the shorter term. So on the one and four hour time frame, uh, possibly finding some kind of a retracement. Um, you could also see a possible, you know, head and shoulders pattern forming right here. And if we broke through that, then if that was the case, some kind of head and shoulders pattern, I don't really like it because usually the head should be larger than the shoulders. It is not. And so if that did break down, 
That brings us down to the 004 level. And let's go to the 12 hour time frame. And I want to put a fib from the bottom to the top here. Let's see if there's any kind of confluence. So, I mean, if we broke down from here, I would actually expect us to come down at minimum to the 0039 area, 004 area, which is at the 382 uh, retracement level on the 12 hour time frame. Uh, which kind of lines up with that head and shoulders a little bit. Uh, actually, it's a little bit deeper than the head and shoulders target. But if we did get some kind of a breakdown here, I'm looking at that 382 uh, for our first line of support, and then obviously down to the 0.5, and then the 618. Uh, but if we do uh, fall down, I, I kind I'm expecting us to find support, you know, and then move on to the upside. Uh, now, this could, um, this might not happen. I mean, this could happen later. We could come up and touch the 200 EMA right here on the 12 hour time frame, which is roughly around the 0049 area. Uh, but the problem I have with that is you can see uh, if we use this uh, white line here, this is a lot of support over here. And we've just come up and hit it as resistance and are getting rejected off of it right now. Um, and so there's quite a bit of support here. I, I can't imagine we're going to break through this on the first try. So whether or not we get this retracement back to the 382, uh, I do believe at least some sideways action is probably in play. Um, unless we can get a massive volume candle, something like this. If we go over here, if we get some kind of volume candle like this one over here to blast us through not only this resistance right here, but also the 200 EMA on the 12 hour time frame. Uh, then I can expect Jasmine to break above that. Other than that, kind of sideways action, maybe a little bit of a fall, uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. We are hitting that resistance. Let's go down to the one hour time frame. Let's see if we're kind of, we're forming anything here. So the RSI is cooling off. Uh, we're stuck right in the center here. So just sideways action, like I was saying, the trend directional here has got, you know, multiple low waves. So sideways action. Uh, any kind of patterns forming up here, you know, maybe some kind of a wedge uh, forming right there, which, I mean, if that was the case, could break us out and move us up to that 200 EMA. Um, but again, if that broke down. Also, we are, we on the one hour, there is the 200 EMA right here, the blue line that could be support as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, I just don't think that we're going to have a blast through here just yet. Uh, I just kind of feel like there's sideways action, possibly a little bit of a retracement here, unless we get that volume candle coming in. So pay attention to the volume as well. Um, there's plenty of room to move on the RSI here. Let me go to the daily. There's plenty of room to move on the RSI. See, we're, we're hitting that 60 level, and that's where I'm kind of cautious as well, because that is the bare retracement on the RSI is to come up to that 60 level. Uh, the top of my blue box here on the RSI and then fall back down uh, And I'm not saying we're gonna create a lower low if we did fall down I, Like I said the 382 I mean at most coming back down to that 786 and forming some kind of a W pattern down here uh, But uh, yeah, I do think that unless we can get above not only the 60 level on the RSI here But to find some volume move to get us above that as well, but uh, yeah lots of resistance coming up so uh, I still think that we have hit bottom here. I do think that the bottom came in for this move around the 003 area. Uh, and then we're just kind of looking for some kind of a bottoming structure uh, to be formed right now. But that's pretty much what I got for Jasmine. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Share it with your friends. And I will talk to you later.